The following contest is a two out of three falls match. And it's for the United States Championship. Yes, indeed. It is two out of three falls for the United States Championship. And it all leads to this since October back at Arden's Massacre. Now, if we could go way, way back in September, Brent Kidd defeated Connor Wild for the United States Championship back at XCW Destruction. Then in October at Arden's Massacre, Brent Kidd lost the United States Championship to Daniel Johnson. Kid on his way. And let's see if he could take home that United States Championship. I keep forgetting that these two men got the same team. Daniel Johnson, the man with the United States Championship around his waist. Introducing the challenger from Panama City, Florida, weighing in at 230 pounds, Brent Kidd. Introducing the champion from Allentown, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 235 pounds, he is the United States Champion, the Nightmare, Daniel Johnson. About to kick things off here at final warning. Look at this. Oh! Johnson takes him down with that. 
Okay, here we go. Go for another one. Wait a minute. No, kid count is it this time. Here we go. Kick to the midsection. Oh my god. Jeez, that was a hard one. One and a kick out. Now kid. Oh takes him with that. My goodness. And our kid with both knees right on to Johnson. These two men fought each other in a one-on-one -on -one match last month at Elm Thanks for when Kid was defending that United States Championship. Here we go, Irish Whip. No. Danny Johnson with the backbreaker. And here we go. Oh, snap suplex. And now here we go, that triangle choke, the submission, locked in, and look at this. He gets out of it, here we go, oh! Danny Johnson up top, here we go, diving most up on no the knees. Taking him down with the knees. Oh man, here we go. Oh! Wait a second, Johnson. Oh! A hard hour shift to the corner. Kid fell off. Got Danny Johnson. Oh! Compound up backbreaker. Two kid. And now, kid, look at this. Oh! Every siren crash. And now, kid, about to go for it. The KVD. Going for the pin. One. Two, no, Johnson has kicked that out too. Here we go. Johnson, wait a minute. Kid. Kid takes him. Look at this. Oh, got to talk about Johnson. Here we go. Oh my god, a hard running knee strike right to the forehead. And now Johnson with the running shotgun knee. Pinfall. No. Johnson almost had the win for the first fall. And here we go. We did this last. He did this this past Tuesday. And here you go. Caught him. Can he get the first fall? No. So close. He was so, so close. And here we go. Johnson. Here we go. Super kick. Here we go. The rip point knee strike. Oh. Spanish hook kick miss. Ducks it. Close line. And now here we go. Pinfall. No.
Right, here we go. Wait a minute. Oh. My apologies, folks. I stand corrected. My facts was a mistake. Netbreaker, pinfall, kick out. But anyway, back that destruction. It wasn't Brent Kidd that defeated Conor Wilde. My apologies. It was Daniel Johnson that defeated Conor Wilde for the U.S. Championship. But here we go. One, two, three. And Kidd gets the first fall. Kidd gets the first fall tonight. And then, uh, and then between destruction and unthankful, Brent Kidd defeated. Oh! There's a pinfall for Johnson. Here we go. Oh! But yes, it was Danny Justin that defeated Conor Wilde at, at destruction. Then, on one of the few weeks, one of the weeks before, unthankful, Brent Kidd defeated Danny Johnson for the United States Championship. And then he beat him. He beat Brent Kidd for the championship at unthankful. And now we are here. Here we go. One, two. Three, no, no, kid almost had it. Kid almost had the win right there, and kid cannot believe this. But yes, kid defeated Danny Johnson on one of the XCW shows. In a regular XCW show, I should say, for the United States Championship. And then Johnson defeated him. Oh my god, Powerbomb. And then Danny Johnson defeated him at Unthankful to get back the U.S. title. And now, it is a 2 out of 3 falls between these two men. 1, 2, no. Brent Kidd was targeting that, that leg, that knee. And here we go. Here we go. Rip Carney. Going for the pin. One. Two. Kid kicks out. At two. I think Gus is about to go for that diving moonsault. One last time. Wait a minute. No. Diving elbow. And here we go. Oh, wait. No. Kid. Kid cut the foot knee strike. Johnson getting carried over the shoulders. Kid Valley Driver. The pin. Do we have a new champion? Two, three, and yes. Brent Kid has won back the United States Championship from Daniel Johnson. My, 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 what a battle. It was both tied up between Johnson and Kidd, but Kidd gets the final stand. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next is for the tag team titles. And now it's time, folks. The tag team championship is upon us. It's now time for the Wild Bandits to go after the gold once again. He had found a warning. Fun fact that these two men, this team has won 
the world tag team titles at last year's run and won it. But the question is, can they do it for a second win in a row in this pay per view? Because last year they defeated Adam Payne the second one for those tag team titles. And now we are back with another one. Tag Team Champions of XCW here to defend those that is around their waist. So I can't wait to see how this is going to go. After this match will be JC Penny versus Ivy Rose for the Women's Championship. Look at this, Cassidy, Cassidy man, the strength with this guy, amazing gets out of it, there we go, Cassidy, with those elbow tricks right to Mr. Amazing, oh, spinning so quick, right to that midsection there, here we go, tags in, Andre Taylor, look at this, oh, hang him, the man on the top rope gave him a big old double X header right onto the back, and Mr. Mason takes him down. Here we go, here we go, wait a minute, no. It was a two count for that one. It was a two count for that one. Here we go. I wish whip to the corner. Look at this. Assisted with the cross body. As he tags in. B Dog. Oh. Stopped him right on the chest with that kick. Taylor with the push. B-Dog, look at this, oh, running back elbow, into the insecurity, why not the Taylor, here we go, oh, Handle. Oh my god, referee's beginning to drive him flat and him down. Face first body and all. 
Here we go. Oh. Yeah, both knees. Oh. Right onto that back, but he blocked him with that push. That was a big heavy push by Cassidy. Fall away slam. Here we go. Wait a minute. Oh. A big double axe hand right, to, right across the back. Here we go. Look at this. Oh, no. Here we go. Look at this. Oh, kneecap brain buster. Going for the pin. One. No. Right before the one count, he has kicked out of it. Here we go. Cassidy with the other whip. Oh! Jeez! That was a big hard slam. Look like he just took it to a roller coaster of freaking El Toro. Oh man, here we go. Five minutes carry. Discus. Form! And we already seen that coming. And now going for the pin. One, two, no. The dog has kicked out at two from that big old forearm there. My, my, my. And now Cassidy with the Irish whip. Gives him a big clothesline at the corner. Uh oh. Cassidy. But to end this. He's about to end this. Dominator. Say good night. One, two, three. And look at that. The Wild Bandits regain the tag team gold. Here at Final Warning with another Final Warning win. at that happy new year's eve for the tag team of the wild bandits these two men are two and oh here at final warning we get ready for women's singles action the following contest is scheduled for one fall and it's for the World Women's Championship. It is now time. Ivy Rose. The former women's champion. Going after that gold yet again. Against no other than JC Penny. And my goodness, what a victory for the newly and once again tag team champions of the wild bandits and i can't believe that happened the two final warning wins in a row back to back of getting the tag team championships but as of right now the women's title is on the line and don't forget that a few weeks ago that Ivy Rose lost the World Race Championship to JC Penny in the main event of XCW. JC Penny has not been women's champion for nearly three years and now she is back 
on the top of the mountain. That's the world women's champion. Introducing the challenger from Louisville, Kentucky, Ivy Rose. Like I usually say, what the hell, Kentucky, feed her. Introducing the champion from Dayton, Ohio. She is the world women's champion, J.C. Perry. <laughs> Perry. But anyway. Gentlemen, after this match, we will be having the World Television Championship between Mark Maverick, who just won at the pre show, as he goes one on one against Psycho Ed. Here we go. Oh! That hard kick to the face. Just did the white lightning kick, just like how. Tammy I used to do it. Look at that. With the knee into the head. I think Penny was trying to go for the leg there, probably. And look at that. It's kicked in the midsection into a DDT. Look at that. Got off the ring. Come back in. I would trip all the way to that corner. Oh, chop. Oh, Jason Penny with the chopper roll. Here we go, what the hell? Oh, twist of fate. That was out of nowhere. She just did the twist of fate. Since when, since when she does that move. Oh, bicycle kick. Now, here we go. Look at this, the power and the strength. You can see JC painted the lightest one compared to her. In this match, and look at that. Jesus. What goes up must come down. That's what Ivy Rose just did, and now look at this. A discus forearm to JC Penny, and now the women's champion with the jawbreaker. Went for the spear for the second time, but no. Passed by him with that. Penny. German. And another holding her on. And now the third. And I'm going for the cover. No. Here we go. Oh. Look at this. Oh. Pop up European. And then here we go. Kick to the midsection. Here we go. The poison. Slam one, two. No. Almost a three. Almost a three with that. I thought that was it. And here we go. Level her up. Take her all the way back down. All the way back down. And now she's about to do it again. For the third time. With the military press slam. I <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to go for it. I got to go for it. But anyway, here we got the pin. Look at that. Both feet on the middle rope. I sure didn't see it, but Jason Penny has kicked out of it. Oh, wait. Oh! Jason Penny comes out of nowhere for DDT in midair. Jumping over drop with the kip up. Uh-oh. 
It's about to be a wrap. Here we go. Caught it. Giving her the shining wizard. One, two. No. Ivy Rose has kicked out at two. Penny up top. Penny. Penny. Oh. Got him with the flip. Sent on. Two. No. Almost had it as well. Almost had it. And now Jesse Penny. Form. Pele kick. Oh wait, she got the foot. Next week. Half Boston Crab. The submission is blocked in on JC Penny. Look at this. He pushed her off and now modified back. Finally dropped by Rose. Falling up for the next snap. Oh, they both missed. Oh, Ivy Rose with the forearm. Crucifix pin. One, two, no. Kick out at two. Uh oh. Oh, man. About to take it to the ride. One, Wayne Angel. Pin four. One, two, three, and it's over. And Ivy Rose gets back the world women's championship and my 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 titles are changing hands here is your winner and new world women's champion ivy rose a third title has changed to a different set of hands but can that happen with psycho red taking on mark maverick because that is next. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Television Championship. Sorry for a late delay with the theme, but it's okay. It is all right. Because here we go with Mark Maverick. Mark Maverick is all patched up. From that. From that match that he had. At the pre-show. Mark Maverick looks like he's. He's been ready. Fully rest up. For his match. Uh, Mark Rever got to give it his all. And this one on one matching a cycle red because cycle red has been different as of late. And cycle red has turned his back on the fans of XCW. Now it is time
as you can see Psycho is ready this man has a match tonight and he has a match tomorrow on New Year's Day and that is him defending the BCW Championship against James Fado inside a steel cage now we all know that yesterday on BCW episode 8 this man defeated Jay Sean went after with the steel chair but James Fado made the save for Jay Sean but you know I just want to talk about a little bit of BCW before this match even starts Mark Maverick, the number one contender, who has won the 16-man tournament. Yes, the first ever 16-man tournament. Introducing the challenger from Manhattan, New York, weighing in at 270 pounds, Mark Maverick. Introducing the champion from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 241 pounds, he is the world television champion, Psycho Eddie. On a warning, folks, the world tag team titles, the United States Championship and the Women's Championship all change hands. They all has changed hands early tonight. But can this fourth championship can do the same? Well, it depends what the hell's gonna happen. And look at this. Oh, Maverick seen that coming. Maverick seen that coming. He was like, not tonight. Oh, Maverick caught him with that elbow. Here we go. Psycho Ed got him up on the shoulders. Look at this. What the hell? One win, Angel. We recently just seen that by every rose. Mark Maverick with the leg sweep. Followed up with a kick to the back. And now a small drop kick. A basement drop kick. Went to the side of the head. And now look at this. Psycho. Takes him down with the head scissors. Maverick with the back elbow. Right to the forehead. Boop. Miss. Oh, no. That was a botch. Chop block, but it's okay. Oh, standing shooting star press by Psycho Ed. Oh, he caught him. Caught him with the rolling heel kick. Mark Maverick had to roll out of the ring. Had to shake that off a little bit. And now here we go with the net breaker to Ed. Now here we go. Here we go. Oh! Caught him with that discus forearm. And that psycho Ed counters it into an arm drag. Mac Maverick, oh wait, no, never mind. Big form right to the back. And now it's Maverick crashing the head of Psycho. On the top turnbuckle with the head. Head is up on his feet. Form. Wait a minute. Counter. Back elbow. Look at this. Here we go. Mithu no shoe driver. Falling up with a big Standing elbow drop. Well, a big jump in elbow drop. I should say, my apologies. Got my slam, by the way. Oh, caught him with the big knee drop right to the lower back. We are three minutes in so far. I think Mark Maverick going for it. Here we go. Rolling death friendly drive with the psycho. Cover one, two, no. Psycho has 
yet to kick out at two. So here we go, now Maverick, wait a minute, no, Psycho. Psycho with the jump breaker. Oh, the spinning air race siren. Oh, Maverick got the foot. Takes him down. Psycho wins up. Oh, left hand. Next week. No. Both feet. Oh, corner with the bicycle kick. Right to the chest of the television champion. And now here we go. Maverick. Look at this. Oh. Caught him with the Mukinoshi driver. Cycle red with a jawbreaker. Went for the super kick miss. Mark Maverick. Oh, half Nelson backbreaker. And now here we go. Here we go. Look at this. The cattle. The cattle mutilation submission. When the last time we seen that move? And look at the psycho. Kicks him right to the back of the head. And a kick right to the ribs. Oh, Kovac Cutter. Pinfall. One. No. Kick out at one. Psycho with a kick to the back. And Maverick. Caught him with the super kick. No. Missed it again. He missed it again. Here we go. Mickey Noshu driver for the third time. And here we go. Another Roman Death Valley driver. Do we have a new world television champion? Hit for one, two, three, and yes! Yes, we do! And Mark Maverick defeats Psycho Ed to become the new world television champion. Wow. But ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the main event. The following contest is a no holds barred match. And it's for the world heavyweight championship. Well, you hear that folks, it is a no hold bar match for the World Heavyweight Championship between Shane the Prince Green and the current reigning defending World Heavyweight Champion Connor Wild. So ladies and gentlemen, it is now time Shane Green having a world championship opportunity here on New Year's Eve. And at least 98% of all titles has changed. Blake Austin retained his Intercontinental Championship at the pre-show. But can Shane Green make it at least 99% to become the new World Heavyweight Champion here at Final Warning. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I am Trey Kent, and we are here with another one. And I cannot wait for this. How, this, how is this going to go down? Shane Green blatantly attacked Connor Wilde last month at unthankful right before the main event was going to start but Connor Wilde still continued on in his matchup against 9 of 5 and retained the goal so this man has practically 
has become world champion since Summer Showdown back in August. So as of right now, it's been four months. It has been four months as world champion for Connor Wilde. Right here, this this pay per view is called Final Warner for a reason, and that is only whether you become champion or not. So, congratulations to all the new champions, which is the Wild Bandits, which is Brent Kidd, Ivy Rose, and Mark Maverick. So now we are just one championship away to see if Shane the Prince Quinn can become the new world champion. But can that Claymore do it all? Who knows? Spotlight with the championship. Raising it in all four corners of the ring. Showing that he is the man on top of the roster. That he is the king of the mountain. Introducing the challenger from the edge of reality, weighing in at 185 pounds, Shane Green. Introducing the champion from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 250 pounds, he is the world heavyweight champion Connor Wildman these two went at it it was for the United States Championship and that did not end well because that happened in 32 seconds but this is different this is for the World Heavyweight Championship so get ready here we go no so hard jeez Conor Wilde immediately just came right after Shane Green with that Jaden Prince-Green said that Ethan Shaw and Mike Harvey became world champion. And he's the only one that never became one. And now look at this. A captured back exploder by Conor Wilder. Here we go with Green with the European. And look at this. The kicks. The kicks. The kicks. Stumbled. And now look at this. Hip toss. Cartwheel. Oh. Falling up with the knee strike. To Connor Wild. Here we go. Oh, back elbow. Put in the second by Connor. And he did a slap to screen. One. And I kick that out one. Give him a knee strike and out Connor up top. Oh, big diving elbow. I don't know the big man could fly, but anyway. And oh my goodness, you've got to be kidding me. He's about to finish him off already. Spear. Look at that, Shane. Shane counters it into an arm drag. Look at this, wait a minute. 
Wait a minute, no. Connor burning hammer to green. Going for the pin. One, two, three, and it's over. It is over already. Ladies and gentlemen, this is good night. Here is your winner and still world heavyweight champion, Connor Wildman. Well, Connor Wild is still the world heavyweight champion. Wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we see you guys next week on Tuesday for the number of the match between Crimson and Adam Payne. Winner takes on Carter Wilder Conquest for the World Heavyweight Championship.